Hello and welcome to the ongoing TLC High Five Devotionals. You know, when I was in college, I had a crisis of faith and I started to ask questions. Questions about my faith, about who is God, is there even a God? And my faith waned and I was seeking answers. And at that time, one of my friends introduced me to Ravi Zacharias. And I started to consume his materials. He had a lot of online videos on YouTube. He had podcasts, his books. You know, one of the things that attracted me to this person was that he looked like me, had a similar background, and that was very inspiring. Unfortunately, a few weeks ago, he passed away. And many people came together during that service and online to express how much he touched them in some way or the other. And they left their condolences and their sadness in his passing. What was Ravi Zacharias's legacy? You know, in his memorial service, he was called the C.S. Lewis of our time. In the late Reverend Billy Graham, it's been observed that God gave us the greatest evangelist of the 20th century. In Ravi Zacharias, God gave us the greatest Christian apologist of this century. Ravi Zacharias said about C.S. Lewis, I don't think C.S. Lewis envisioned the kind of legacy that he would have. In the time in which we are living, his work is desperately needed. And that stands true about Ravi Zacharias himself. In a way, this video is a tribute to him and to his legacy and to what he's done in my life and I know in many others as well. You see, what made Ravi Zacharias great and all the Christian saints that came before him great was not their intelligence, their family background, their minds, their sermons, their books. It was that all the Christian saints lived a life that focused entirely on Jesus. Their lives were centered, focused, and built upon Jesus Christ our Lord. In 2 Timothy chapter 4 verses 7 to 8 it says, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day. And not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. What will it take for you and I to say the above, that we fought the good fight? that we finished the race, that we kept the faith. How can you and I leave a legacy for generations to come? What are the steps that you're doing? What is your time devoted to? Is it all for good? When you reach the end, do you think you would have left a legacy, a legacy of following Jesus Christ? Because brothers and sisters, that is the only legacy that matters. And so we look forward to the day when we no longer see dimly in a mirror, but we can see Jesus face to face and hear those precious words, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Father God, we just lift up your name and we thank you. Lord God, enable us to live a life that is worthy of you focused on you and built upon you that when we leave this world the only thing that will matter was is that we left it living for you thank you lord for hearing our prayers in christ's matchless and mighty name we pray amen may god bless you and keep you thank you brothers and sisters and have a wonderful day